A century ago, it would have seemed improbable that there would be self-driving cars or plans to cruise a 400-foot tall starship to Mars in 2022. But it is now a reality for a large portion of the population, thanks to Elon Musk. Traveling to Mars might appear mesmerizing, but the arrival time might be daunting for some. Still, in order to accomplish any goal in life, there must be some hindrances to overcome. And one of the major hindrances Musk is facing is speed. That's where the warp drive comes in. Is it even possible if humans could build technology that could move at the speed of light? If so, how thrilling will that be? Find out more as we solicit about the new warp drive starship revealed by Elon Musk. Elon Musk has a unique characteristic in that he does not accept ideas that are too small to be considered. He recently spoke of reinventing the vehicle, exploring space, redesigning high-speed rail, the idea of developing a warp drive, and placing a permanent human settlement on Mars. This isn't just the wild fancies of your college friend, either. Musk is making significant progress toward the achievement of each and every one of his objectives. A tech conference hosted by All Things D, D11, was the venue where he shared some of his goals and initiatives. His remarks were met with enthusiastic applause from the crowd. After a day and a half spent listening to media and social networking executives make hollow, cautiously guarded, nearly content-free remarks about the future direction of their companies, Musk distinguished himself as an experienced visionary leader who knows what he's doing and isn't afraid to express his opinions. While taking part in the Q&A session, Shervin Pishabar, an investor and entrepreneur, praised Musk for bringing back some of the enthusiasm and vision that conference participants had previously seen from the late Apple creator Steve Jobs. The company's ultimate objective, according to him, is to build a permanent human colony on Mars and expand life to include other planets. However, in order for it to become a reality, mankind must continue to make strides forward in space exploration on an annual basis. SpaceX is intended to expedite this process of advancement, but why would anybody want to travel to Mars? Aside from the fact that Mercury and Venus are too hot for human residents, it is relatively conducive to human settlement. It's colder than Earth, but it's still within the range of temperatures that you might theoretically live in. Furthermore, it has a very thin atmosphere, which, if supplemented with greenhouse gases, might be made more habitable by gradually warming Mars over time. Mars is a fixer-upper of a planet, but humans have the ability to make it function. Yet another reason is that, according to Musk, the future of mankind will split in half, either becoming multi-planetary or being limited to a single planet, with the latter resulting in an extinction catastrophe at some point in the future. To put it bluntly, he would prefer a future in which we are a spacefaring race, living on several worlds, than a future in which we are all dead on a single planet. Still, SpaceX hasn't achieved that yet, but it has brought down the cost of building a rocket substantially. Perhaps the main reason warp drive seems to be possible is that it hasn't been disproven yet. The point at which he realized it could work was when the company analyzed the material cost of a rocket, which amounted to just a few percent of the overall cost. It is theoretically possible to warp space-time itself, so you're not moving faster than the speed of light, but it's space that's moving, Musk said. But he also acknowledged that a warp drive may or may not come to fruition. Nevertheless, there may be hope for a future with FTL, faster than light travel, but not anytime soon. Warp drive is arguably the holy grail of space exploration, with a propulsion system capable of faster than light speed travel. Humanity could reach the distant corners of the galaxy and beyond. Unfortunately, warp drives have long been relegated to the realm of science fiction. But according to aerospace engineering professor Jason Kasibri, scientists are getting closer to cracking the physics of a warp drive straight out of Star Trek. Generally, it's known that a warp drive would manipulate space-time itself to move a starship, taking advantage of a loophole in the laws of physics that prevent anything from moving faster than light. A concept for a real-life warp drive was suggested in 1994 by the Mexican physicist Miguel Alcubierre. However, subsequent calculations found that such a device would require prohibitive amounts of energy. Now, physicists say that the adjustments can be made to the proposed warp drive that would enable it to run on significantly less energy, potentially bringing the idea back from the realm of science fiction into science reality. With this, Musk also said that if we don't improve space technology every year, we're never going to get there. SpaceX's goal is to make as much improvement as possible. What's needed most immediately is a rocket that is rapidly and cheaply reusable, since the vast majority of a rocket's cost is the rocket itself, not its fuel. If you can refuel a rocket, you can save a lot of money and launch a lot more rockets. An Alcubierre warp drive would involve a football-shaped spacecraft attached to a large ring encircling it. This ring, potentially made of an exotic matter, would cause space-time to warp around the starship, creating a region of contracted space in front of it and expanding space behind it. Meanwhile, the starship itself would stay inside a bubble of flat space-time that wasn't being warped at all. Years back, PhD physics Richard K. Obuzi stated that the fabric of space is not limited by the speed of light. With this concept, 
the spacecraft would be able to achieve an effective speed of about 10 times the speed of light, without breaking the cosmic speed limit. The only problem is that the previous studies estimated the warp drive would require a minimum amount of energy, about equal to the mass energy of the planet Jupiter. Years back, White calculated what would happen if the shape of the ring encircling the spacecraft was adjusted to be more of a rounded donut, as opposed to a flat ring. He found that in the case, the warp drive could be powered by a mass about the size of a spacecraft like the Voyager 1 probe NASA launched in 1977. Furthermore, if the intensity of the space warps can oscillate over time, the energy required is reduced even more. Is warp drive possible? Well, our current understanding of physics and how light travels exclude objects from reaching a velocity greater than light speed. But it does not exclude the possibility of space itself traveling at or beyond that speed. Some people who have examined the problem claim that in the early universe, space-time expanded at superluminal speed, if only for a very short interval. If these hypotheses are proven true, a warp drive could take advantage of this loophole, leaving behind the issue of the propulsion of objects, and thereby tasking scientists with the question of how to generate the enormous energy needed to move space-time. But even if scientists succeed in bending space-time around a given spaceship, it would only lead to more questions regarding space travel. Though we spoke about the merits of the warp drive, it has set back what we will now look into. As your faster than light ship sails through the cosmos, it's not alone. Although we often think of space as empty, there are loads of high energy particles shooting through the void. The University of Sydney's research indicates that these particles are liable to get swept up in the craft's warp field and remain trapped in the stable bubble. The longer the journey lasts, the more of these dangerous particles build up. This doesn't affect the ability of the warp drive to keep bending the laws of the universe, it's the stopping that's going to ruin your day. The instant Alcubierre drive is disengaged, the space-time gradient that allows it to effectively move faster than light goes away. All the energetic particles trapped during the journey have to go somewhere, and the researchers believe they would be blasted outward in a cone directly in front of the ship. Anyone or anything waiting for you at the other end of your trip would be destroyed. Because of a funny little quirk of relativity, there is no upper limit to the amount of energy an Alcubierre drive could pick up. A long trip could vaporize an entire planet upon your arrival. The researchers are beginning a new round of number crunching to see how bad the problem is. It's possible the deadly particle beam could be projected in all directions, making Alcubierre drives unworkable. With this, do you think this spiffy warp ship might make a better weapon than a method of transportation? Remember to drop your comments below, and let us know what you think about all this.